Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics and Neonatology. This video is about congenital hypothyroidism. I will discuss the causes, signs and symptoms, laboratory findings and treatment. Incidence of congenital hypothyroidism is 1 in 3 to 4000 infants. Now the causes of congenital hypothyroidism. These include aplasia, hypoplasia or male descent of the thyroid as in embryonic defect of the thyroid development. Second is inborn errors of thyroid hormone synthesis, secretion or recycling due to autosomal recessive mutations. This can occur in iodide transport defect and organification defect which can result from mutation in the iodine peroxidase or mutation in pendrin which can result in pendrate syndrome which is associated with congenital sensorineural deafness. Other causes are coupling defect, iodotyrosine diiodinase defect abnormal iodinated polypeptide or inability to convert T4 to T3. Now congenital hypothyroidism may be due to maternal antibody which inhibit the TSH binding to receptor. It may be due to TSH receptor defect, thyroid hormone receptor defect, in utero exposure of radio iodine or gytrogens which include propyl thiouracil or methimazole or it may also result from iodine excess and the seventh cause is iodine deficiency now the clinical features of congenital hypothyroidism it is more common in females and symptoms during the early weeks of life include it may be asymptomatic at birth or the birth weight and the lens are normal and head is slightly enlarged there may be prolonged physiological jaundice there may be feeding difficulties such as sluggishness or lack of interest in feed. There may be somnolence and choking spells during feeding. There is large tongue which can cause respiratory difficulties. The baby cry less and sleep more. There is poor appetite and general sluggishness. There may be constipation and abdomen is large with umbilical hernia. Temperature is abnormal less than 95 degree Fahrenheit skin is cold and mottled there may be edema of the genitals and extremities pulse is slow there may be heart murmurs cardiomegaly and asymptomatic pericardial effusion on cardiovascular examination now there is macrocytic anemia with low reticulocyte count now in 10 percent cases of congenital hypothyroidism there may be congenital heart disease or neurological or eyes anomalies and there may be hearing loss now clinical features fully develop by three to six months of age growth is stunted with short extremities anterior and posterior fontanelles are open widely eyes appear far apart and have narrow palpebral fissures eyelids are swollen and there may be depressed nasal bridge mouth is kept open and thick broad tongue protrudes dentition is delayed Neck is short and thick with deposits of fat above the clavicle and between the neck and the shoulders. And hands are brought with short fingers. Now in this picture you can see two children with untreated congenital hypothyroidism. Now skin is dry and scaly with little perspiration. There may be mixed edema of the skin of the eyelids, back of the hands and external genitals. Skin is paler with sallow complexion. There may be carotinemia which can cause yellow discoloration but sclera remains white. Now scalp is thickened and hair is coarse, brittle and scanty. Hairline reaches far down on the forehead which is wrinkled. Now there is delayed development and child remains lethargic and is late in learning to sit and stand. Voice is hoarse and he does not learn to talk now sexual maturation may be delayed or absent now muscles are hypotonic but rarely generalized muscular pseudohypertrophy of the calf muscles can occur and this occur especially in boys with prolonged and severe hypothyroidism this condition is called cocker jabri semi lane syndrome now in case of ectopic thyroid gland there is a growing mass at the base of the tongue or in the midline of the neck at the level of the hyoid bone. Occasionally, ectopia is associated with 
thyroglossal duct cyst. Now these children are euthyroid and surgical removal can lead to hypothyroidism. Now the laboratory findings and the diagnosis. First the blood test. Serum T4 or free T4 levels are decreased. Serum T3 levels may be normal. TSH is increased and serum thyroglobulin is decreased in thyroid agenesis or defects in the thyroglobulin synthesis or secretion and serum thyroglobulin is increased in case of ectopic thyroid gland and dishormonogenesis. There may be macrocytic anemia with low reticulocyte count and serum cholesterol is increased in children more than 2 years of age. Next is imaging studies. X-ray knee may show absent epiphysis. X-ray shoulder shows epiphyseal dysgenesis that is multiple ossification center. Skull X-ray may show large fontanel, white sutures and warmian bones. Sila tushia is enlarged and round. X-ray spine shows beaking of T12, L1 and L2 vertebrae. X-ray wrist may show delayed bone age. Now ultrasound of the neck is required in case of ectopic thyroid gland. On thyroid scintigraphy, uptake of radio iodine and pertechnitate is low in agenesis, sodium iodide sympoter defect, TSH receptor defect or thyrotropin receptor blocking antibodies. There is increased discharge of radioactivity when perchlorate or thiocyanate is given 2 hours after the test dose of radio iodine. Now chest x-ray and echocardiography may show cardiomegaly, pericardial effusion, poor left ventricular function or congenital heart disease. ECG may show low voltage QRS complexes, P and T waves. Next I will discuss treatment of congenital hypothyroidism. Now for this oral levothyroxine is given. Starting dose is 10 to 15 mg per kg per day and dose is gradually decreased with age. Now do not mix the tablets with soy protein formulas with iron or calcium as this bind T4 and inhibits its absorption. Now monitor serum T4 or free T4 and TSH levels monthly in first 6 months of life and then every 2-3 to three months between 6 to 24 months of life. These levels should be maintained in normal range for age. Now side effects of levothyroxine include craniosynostosis or temperament problems. And in the end I will discuss the prognosis of congenital hypothyroidism. Early treatment from first weeks of life result in normal linear growth and intelligence. But failure to correct hypothyroidism in first 2-3 to three years of age can result in profound mental retardation. Ok friends, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more informative health related videos.